Okay, now I want to demonstrate uh, this saddle design here. Um, I put it on most of my new guitars all the time, and it works like this. What I've done is I've made a, a, a saddle, pre-shaped, that is actually longer than the slot. And um, the reason I do this is uh, for two reasons. Number one, when you send a new guitar out to customers, sometimes it's difficult to, um, you know, kind of guess. I, I always ask uh, customers, guitarists, how they like their action. And the reply is usually uh, as low as it'll go without buzzing, which really doesn't tell you a lot because we don't know. I don't know what if they're a real strong player, you know. So um, this idea really kind of solves everything. You can put this uh, saddle on and it'll, uh, um, it will adjust as you slide it um, this way. It'll raise the action. When you bring it back this way, it'll lower it. The only disadvantage is you see it sticking out the, the edge here. But um, I, I got this idea from Fleta. Um, this, I refretted a Fleta back in the 80s and um, it was a brand new Fleta and it came with a saddle just like this where it extended over the edge. And at first I looked at it and I thought, wow, you know, Fleta forgot to trim the saddle at the last minute. And then I realized, no, this is, this is uh, on purpose. So that you can either leave it, um, you can either leave it uh, overhanging all the time, if you don't mind the aesthetics of it hanging over. Um, and then if you're, let's say, go on tour and you're, uh, you're going to different parts of the world where the humidity is different, um, the guitar reacts, uh, you, you can raise and lower the action accordingly. Um, the only drawback to this is that you can't microtune the bridge, um, which, you know, I don't consider that big of a deal. But um, also, a friend of mine brought, brought it to my attention that he saw a uh, article, uh, a magazine article, uh, where Segovia was playing a guitar, probably a fleta, uh, and in the in the um, on the picture, it had this exact bridge where it was overhanging on the bass side. Just like this one, so it's uh, it's not my idea, but I think uh, it, it, it. I don't see anybody else really doing it except for Flata, and uh, it's a great idea. So anyway, I'm going to slide this thing across so you can see. You just slide it in there, okay? And I've adjusted it so it's a fairly you know low setting on on the this uh, treble side. And, and on the bass, I think it's about just a hair above 3 30 seconds of an inch over the 12th fret and 4. So when I slide it this way, it's going to go up to 4 and 5, which is plenty high. Uh, so you, you, can, you, you can adjust it anywhere in between, you know. So anyway, I just wanted to pass this on uh, to you. And uh, this is what I do on most of my new guitars now. Um, and if you don't like the overhang here, you can just simply get a, a pencil, mark it, and then cut it, and then just sand this edge round, and then just leave it in there. But at least to a new player, um, I mean, uh, sorry, at least for a, um, uh, a new guitar with the setup, uh, it, this gives the, uh, the, the guitarist a chance to kind of fine tune the action for themselves. Um, then if you want to find, uh, if, if you feel the need to fine tune the saddle, um, you, can, you can trim it to where it's working for you, the action, and then fine tune it afterwards. But uh, this is a great, great adjustment, I think. It's a great idea. I'm, I'm shocked to kind of not see it on more instruments. But uh, anyway, I put it on mine. So. That's the adjustable saddle.